Adobe, we have a serious problem here that we need to talk about. This is how we spend our work days these days. Because we cannot work with Premiere Pro anymore. Let's talk about that. Let's get serious here because this is a serious topic. We are filmmakers, we produce a lot of YouTube videos. I know there are other filmmakers out there that make more videos, better videos, other videos, different videos, no matter how. We need a filmmaking tool every day. I started filmmaking back on cassettes, actually copy from one to another and I could focus on the edit, the cut, which was the most important thing. And then comes when you do digital film editing, of course, one of the first tools out there, Premiere Pro. It's definitely not the first digital editing tool. I think there was someone earlier, doesn't matter. Premiere Pro was definitely the weapon of choice in the beginning. I'm talking about 1999, 2000. Then Apple came up with Final Cut. And then finally Final Cut 10, which is a slim tool, but a very solid tool. And you could edit anything in almost no time. Render times were much better. You could focus on the edit. And then at a certain point, when we started to become more professional after a while, MP actually talked me into Premiere Pro again, because he said, that's the tool you need. You can do more stuff. You can collaborate and all that stuff. We have been editing on Premiere Pro now for the last two years. We have a lot of licenses. I love the Adobe Suite and I see the potential. But if you're not able to render a movie, to finish a movie, to export a movie, to work on a movie, you're not a filmmaker. You become a tech support guy, someone who helps others to solve tech problems. That's the problem with Premiere Pro lately and a lot of filmmakers talk about that problem and we don't know what to do we're stuck so we think of different solutions number one we quit filmmaking we just don't produce any videos anymore we don't like that number two we go back to final cut that's an option apple came out with a new mac pro i think you can custom feature it up to 50,000 bucks or something. If you have the budget, that's a nice choice. You have to like replace all the PCs that we have with MacBooks again. Can be nice, but then you're stuck to Final Cut. Number three. We just get used to it. help our, our people with like letting go of their aggression or help them with meditation or number four this was an option one of our freelancer guys came up with why don't we go to DaVinci Resolve Pro which has been a tool for like color grading and that stuff but lately has a lot more features for filmmakers so I think before MP destroys the very nice Kartenmacherei office that we're in here, we may suggest that option. What do you think? What do I think about what? Trying DaVinci Resolve instead of destroying PCs or this office. <laughs> That's an option maybe. What do you heard of it? It's good. It's a good, good software. Everything's better than Premiere, so let's try. <laughs> Adobe, that's a serious problem. You either solve that or we go right now and try DaVinci Resolve Pro. Let's go. So this is the very, very first time I opened DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. I've seen it before, but uh, never really like, worked with it. So. so we definitely make two videos one for the first impression you know understood why we do that we definitely need to talk about the workflow we're filming with a red we need to like edit raw material we have no clue how to do it and we want to find out if we get an idea how to use it so that's pretty straightforward timeline resolution i don't see 5k here only 4k or 8k okay 
can you custom? I think I can. 5K is which? Five. Which resolution do we? What are we filming on? Twenty by three thousand or something. Yeah. Right, we got that. Yeah, need it. Okay, yes. so you can customize it. Yes. Twenty-four frames. Yes. Let's let's look at camera raw. That sounds interesting. I Alexa, no. Red. Here we go. Interesting. Decode quality. Ah, quarter resolution, Measurement. half resolution. A bit to half. Usually in Premiere Pro, we had to go to like one eighth or yeah. one sixteenth yeah. to like play yeah. it. How can we rename the project? One slow more Just click on the title. Mm -hmm. Just okay. an untitled project. Whatever. It's an untitled project. <laughs> or untitled project is always a good name. Yeah. Okay, let's get an overview. You have the timeline. I mean, you have a yeah. That's the timeline. editing workspace. We have a media workspace where you can import media clips, stretch, mm -hmm. uh, raw material, material cut. And what's the difference between I don't cut know. and edit? I have no idea. But edit looks like a normal timeline. Yeah. You would, like. Let's import some clips yeah. and then. I think we need to import it from the media import uh, media storage tool. Yes. Why? Like, okay. So you Dragon would go through this way. I, I think like, drag okay. and drop is Doesn't not work. working. Just, Let's try it with one like... click. <gasps> it does. My goodness, oh, it works. I love drag it. and drop, and it's I playing. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you Bye see how? Can you, can you see how fast it's like running? I mean, this is raw video file, but right? The color is weird. The color is weird. What do you mean by the color is weird? The color is like not saturated and very flat. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Nice. Let's try. How can I get <laughs> to, <edit. laughs> to the editing? Ah, you open edit and then you drag and drop. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks nice. It's looks nice. like Final Cut. Okay, I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like Final Cut. It's right. clean. I already selected uh, Premiere to be my normal editing software, so I sh think the shortcuts should be the same. Like, okay, they are not. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> and I usually put my own shortcuts, yeah. so for me it's fine. Okay. How do I make a cut? B for blade. Oh, okay, that's weird. It's the same like in Final Cut. Is it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a good final cut. <laughs> but it's smooth, I can like scroll in, scroll out, no problem. That was a pain with Premiere. Yeah, let's do something that we usually have to do very fast. I mean, uh, audio adjustment yeah. and color grading. All right, uh, color grading is huge in, in uh, DaVinci. And I have no idea how it works oh because you have all God. these nodes, you can add them after each other and under and connect them and I don't know, it's, okay. it's crazy. One thing, the tracking is amazing, you can, you can select your head here. Which is easy to select because of my haircut. <laughs> it is, but it's crazy. Wow. If you move your head it will like adjust to it and, uh, okay no it doesn't work too well but you can see it's changing the angles, yeah, size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's that's crazy and very good for color adjustment. So you could then say like you just want to color adjust that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is fusion? It's some kind of after, after effects. effects. Built in. Some people say it's better than after effects. And it's built in. Everything's built in. You have like audition built in, you have after effects built in, you have everything built in this. Why do we use okay I don't <laughs> question it anymore? We like okay. Okay, work with it. <laughs> does it. Does it work with a Mac as well? Of course it does. Yes, it does. I have no... I will <laughs> add... Just click the text icon. Text. <laughs> Drag and drop. I think it's not how it, that's not how it's working, but... But it says there is like... Yeah, text. But text. Merge too. What, wow, what are the arrows here? I mean, that's good. What is that? Wow. Oh. <laughs> let's skip that and go to Fairlight because that's interesting because that's a full workspace only for audio editing. Yes, you have like 100 channels of audio up there. Wow, how do I get the clip in? I have no idea. Maybe Drag and drop? Media pool. Yes. Media pool is always a good idea. Yeah. 
Where are the effects, man? <laughs> Basically, no man. idea what we are doing. No. Okay, just, mute is pretty clear. I mean, yeah, it's the first, first, first impression. First impression. <laughs> we do a deep dive for sure. Yes. I mean, you once, want once you want to know it. you want to know the truth. The truth is we gotta get started some mm -hmm. some point. Main, what is that? What is that? Deliver. That's the export. That's rendering, yeah. rendering. Let's see render times. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see render times. So how, how long is it? This one very is yeah, one hour. It's slow motion, maybe. Yes, it is. This is one, one hour, hour <laughs> red footage. One hour red footage. Okay, let's see. YouTube Vimeo. Wow, custom. Okay, this is custom. Yeah, let's select the location. Let's do untitled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Da it's Vinci. Not, not typing okay, here. For some let's call it Da Vinci Test, which is always a good name. Test one, test two. Test one. Test final. <laughs> Format MP4 H264. Yeah. That's okay. That would be the one that we use, yeah. right? Yeah. Start render. Just start render. <laughs> Do you see a deadline time? Yeah. 29 minutes. That's not too bad for an hour footage. For one hour footage. <laughs> 29 minutes. Okay. I stop the time if that's real. And we wait. So, one big difference in rendering that you said, DaVinci is using the GPU, which Premiere does just from time to time if you have yeah, video, effects. video effects. So, uh, so that makes it faster here. Yeah. So we are still at 22 minutes, which pretty much accurate. And Premiere, let's test with Premiere yeah. this project as well. So we just reinstalled Premiere Pro, and now we should do Which the same. We, we dra use? just we drag and drop. <laughs> we drag and drop the whole project, and then we took the slow mo clip that's like one hour long. And it's it's not working. It's not working because I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> the screen does. Und jetzt haben wir aber die im Ordner. Weil er nicht. Da muss ich auf Deutsch reden, damit das so aufregt. Wirklich. We cannot subtitle this. Not possible. Day one. Red. Right? Yes. The clip where you stood. Slow mo. There. That's clip. long, yeah? Yes. Alright. Let's just take this clip. Yes. Let's make it easy for Premiere. <laughs> Forty minutes. <laughs> Fuck Da Vinci. Seventy. Slowing down. Okay. So I'd rather have an accurate time than. Hmm. Oh, it's slowing. It's not. <laughs> so this is already a problem of Premiere. You start with something and then it's, it changes render like time. It's like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then took the take like you know. Well, so the first day, the first minutes with David Chi, we obviously didn't do a deep dive here. We will do that in another video. We just like wanted to open the software and then get a first impression so you can use it as an editor right away. That's for sure. You definitely will be slower. We've been slow with Premiere in the beginning for sure. But we think anything is better than <laughs> having not a reliable software and we edit a lot. So thanks for watching. I hope you can feel the pain as well and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe here and watch another video here and stay tuned for number two, episode two of Da Vinci Resolve. It won't be the last one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs>